Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. Also, if you know anyone who may like cleaning and organizing videos, feel free to share. Remember, you can always visit letsgetitdone.blog for more. Today we will be decluttering, cleaning and organizing my refrigerator. I hope you guys enjoy this one. To start off, I'm going to remove my refrigerator door bins and I'm going to take out all of the condiments that I have in there so that I can discard whatever has expired and sort everything out. I'm going to be putting my condiments into squeeze bottles so that they all look similar. Also, it makes it easier to store into the refrigerator bins. The reason is because every bottle has its own shape and sometimes that tends to take up more space than if you have all your bottles or containers the same shape and size. I will be linking this squeeze bottle in the description below. So this is how my refrigerator door bins look now. I tried to cover the bottom with wax paper but that didn't work out very well. This time, after washing and drying my refrigerator bins, I'm going to be using the Glad Press and Seal to line them. So as in my previous video, I'm pulling out my spray bottle with my homemade mixture of Dawn soap, vinegar, and water to clean out my refrigerator bins. So now I'm just going to let this sit and do its thing and while that is working I'm going to be washing up a little bit of dishes that I have in my sink. washing out the bins and I had some sticky jelly in there and it came out so easily after using this mixture and of course I splashed soap on myself so I'm just gonna keep on going and finish cleaning these but seriously try this mixture if you have any sticky things in your refrigerator I've also seen people use the Dawn power wash I personally haven't tried it yet I just been using my mixture with Dawn water and vinegar and it has worked perfectly fine I probably will try the power wash and let you guys know how it worked out So I decided to check why no ice was coming out of my refrigerator door and here is the reason. The ice had melted and refroze and got stuck together. So I'm just going to toss this and let it make new ice.
crescent seal that I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm gonna be lining my bins with this so that if anything drips out of the squeeze bottles, all I have to do is replace it. Now I'm going to be putting all of my condiments back and as you can see they're all labeled, they all look very similar and I'm going to have to purchase some smaller ones for the smaller bottles of barbecue sauce or marinades so that I can have all of the same style bottles. Stars at your window. No, you can't sleep. You pretend though you don't have to play the hero. Cause I got you like you got me. When the earth shakes, when the bombs scream, until I last breath, every heartbeat. Now that I have my refrigerator door sorted and organized, I'm going to be clearing the main cabin. As you can see, I have yogurt in their boxes still, and this is going to be organized in individual containers. So now that my refrigerator shelves are cleared, you can see how dirty they are and this is real life. I mean, you have everyday spills and things that leak and it's important to clean your refrigerator often so that you don't get a funky smell in there that'll ruin the other food that you have in there. I also have to replace my water filter, but before I do that, I'm going to spray the inside of my refrigerator with an all-purpose cleaner so that it can sit on whatever is dried on to the shelves to soften it. And then I'm going to replace the filter. So I'm just opening the filter here and I'm going to pull out the old one, put the new one in, then I'll be pulling out the shelves, washing them down, drying them, and putting them back in.
just perfect even me Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia a Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations that Refrigerator shelves are sparkly clean. I'm going to start putting everything back in. So right now I'm just putting all my orange juice in and almond milk and I'm going to try to keep all the containers that are the same together. So all of these cartons are going to go to one side of the fridge and I'm going to push them as far to the side and far back as possible so that I can fit all of them in there properly. I'm also going to be moving all of my eggs to one egg container. I have to because I like to buy the big bulk pack of eggs and the reason we do that is because I bake a lot so I use a lot of eggs and I don't like not having eggs in hand. Every single thing we see curated, adorated, these expectations they keep weighing me down, my heart is begging me to now I'm going to sort my bins into my refrigerator and I need to find a place to put them but it all depends on what I'm putting in them. Also, using a Lazy Susan in your refrigerator can be very helpful to find what you need to find. Sometimes we get things pushed to the back and we can't find them so if you have a Lazy Susan you can spin it and you won't have things lost in the back of your refrigerator. Most of these containers I found at TJ Maxx and one of my favorite is this beverage container that is used for cans. I like to use it for my boys Danimal Smoothie Yogurt and as you can see it's so easy to stack them in here and all they do is just grab it and another one rolls forward. So this is what I like to use. I'm going to see if I can link some of these down below or similar ones so that you guys can find them. Now this white container I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use them to put these little yogurts in. Because they're so short, I'm able to stick them into this white container and slide them under my hanging egg container. If I can find the egg container, I will list that below as well. But as you can see, I can't put anything that's very tall in here. Whatever I put there has to be flat. Susan, I'm going to be putting things I don't use that often. These are things that I tend to use to make other sauces or to make a marinade. So I have my Greek yogurt here, sour cream, I also have Caesar salad dressing, strawberry cream cheese, and ranch dressing. So these are just things that I grab every now and then and things that tend to get lost in the back of the refrigerator and that I don't want to go bad. So my best option is to put them all the way up here but on the Lazy Susan so that I can access them whenever I need. I found these bins in the dollar spot in Target. And as you can see, there's two large bins and then two smaller ones that actually fit into them. I'm going to be using one of the longer bins to put between my two Lazy Susans because this is an awkward space where if I do put anything 
in there. That shelf is so high that I would have to get a step stool to reach whatever I have back there. So to make everything easier to access, I'm just gonna use this bin to put everything in so I can just pull it forward and get what I need. Fast forward a year or two Friends have changed but so can you So can you less than half a gallon of apple cider in here I'm just gonna place it into a smaller picture and I like this picture because it is very narrow so I can squeeze it into the refrigerator wherever I find space Putting them side by side, you can see the big difference in how much space it's going to save in my refrigerator. Now it's time to clean out my fruit and vegetable drawers. I kind of just put everything in here because I knew I was going to organize it so I went shopping recently I decided to wait until it was time to record so that you guys can see how I'm going to organize everything I'm gonna wash the berries then store them in my food container so that they're ready to snack on I love these containers because they come with a mesh or colander inside and this keeps them from sitting in liquid which helps them last longer. that I love about these containers is that you can divide your fruit however you want. So you can divide them vertically or horizontally. I decided to go with horizontally here because it was going to look really odd having so many blueberries on one side and nothing on the other. Another thing that I should mention is that the lids of these containers have little knobs on top where you can control the ventilation. Your 
what I can in advance. For example, I'll buy a crown of broccoli and I'll cut them into smaller pieces so that I'll have broccoli frets prepared for whenever I'm going to make broccoli. Another good hack, if you have any herbs that don't have roots, it's a good idea to always get some wet paper towel and wrap the stems so that they can absorb some of the water. They're not going to last super long but this will prevent them from wilting in the refrigerator. I like to use this compartment to store my butter however these two little baskets were not doing it for me. Every time I would close the refrigerator I would have sticks of butter flying out. So I decided to use this bin that I got from the Dollar Tree a while back and I'm gonna see how much butter I can stick in here. I buy not only salted butter for cooking and everyday use, but I buy a lot of unsalted butter for all the baking that I do. It's also much easier to just buy a big bulk of butter than to have to go buy butter in the supermarket every week. that goes in the sink. It has two suction cups in the back. I found that that was very useful for the refrigerator. I suctioned them onto the front of this drawer here and it allows for easy access. everything so that I have all my yogurts to one side and all my cheeses to the other. Here I have some of my parmesan, parmesan original, um, cured pepperoni. I decided to put my cold cuts in here and my blocks of cheddar cheese and pepper jack. 
I also have a small container of the extra sauces that you get from McDonald's and I like to keep those in the fridge because there are times where, you know, we decide to pick up some chicken nuggets and they don't give us any sauce. I also put the cans of the croissants towards the back since we don't use them as often. But now I have everything nice and organized in the store. of my refrigerator is clean I'm going to clean the outside and here I'm just using some end dust to clean off whatever fingerprints I have on here and also give it a nice shine thank you everyone for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it I hope you guys got some new ideas to organize your refrigerator and make it more functional for you and to maximize the amount of space you have in your refrigerator sometimes using containers to create vertical space will allow you to store more don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below I'll see you guys next time bye